um, so it's everything from what are case studies, why are they important, how do you create them, and how do you use them. Um, and the one thing I guess I would say that uh, in terms of just case studies in general is uh, if you've had uh, even just one customer that has been more successful because they worked with you, you need to be telling those stories and the case study is a great way to do it. Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Angatika interview series. I'm your host, Kimberly, and we're really excited to have you join us today. We have with us a very special guest. We have Jeff Strauss on the show. Very warm welcome, Jeff. Thank you. Glad to be here, Kimberly. Jeff Strauss is the professional storyteller and author of the book, The Book on Case Studies. We're so excited to have you talk to us about the topic today. But before we dive into our crazy interview with Jeff, let me tell you what the series is all about. The Angatika interview series is a powerhouse of insights from industry experts and influencers from around the world. A platform that provides the latest news on AI, automation and technologies that will help you grow your business. Come be a part of our community where we learn, share and grow together. Diving into my first question for you, Jeff, is can you briefly tell us uh, your experience in conducting and analyzing case studies? Sure. Um, I began my business as a <clears throat> general uh, freelance writer and evolved it through copywriting and then niched down to case studies because mm -hmm. in doing my work, I found that case studies are really uh, one of the most effective ways a business can market itself. Mm -hmm. And a lot of businesses aren't using case studies, or if they are, they're using kind of a basic format that isn't as effective as the way that we do ours. Right. That is awesome. So uh, how do you determine the appropriate uh, research method for specific case studies? What is your bifurcation? What are your parameters that you keep in mind? Sure, great question. Um, we start our process with uh, a conversation just like this with our client. We try to figure out what their goals are for the case study, what they wanted to do for them. Um, then we uh, help them pick out someone uh, from their uh, client base that uh, would be a good uh, representative of that story. Uh, we have them put us in touch with them. And um, then we format a specific set of questions. We'll get that customer of our client to give us answers that will allow us to tell the story about the business from the customer's perspective. Mm -hmm. That That is really, really insightful. Uh, can you give us an example of how you used the case study results to drive decision making uh, uh, you know, uh, decisions and uh, how does it really drive change with the help of case studies? Sure. Um, you know, uh, one of the, the, the main values of case studies, of course, is it's a marketing tool. So it's a way to generate new business. But in terms of uh, decision making and uh, running the business, uh, one thing that can come out as uh, an extra bonus of going through this process of kind of interviewing our clients' customers is that they'll be able to gain insights into the real value they provide their clients because maybe it hasn't been, uh, they haven't been asked before or it hasn't been expressed, but because the question and answer format allows us to kind of dig into the customer experience, sometimes businesses will come away not only with a great marketing piece, but also insights into what the real value they're giving their customer. And they can use that in making their decisions and how to you know, market themselves and position themselves within their marketplace. Correct, correct. How can you discuss, um, you know, any limitations or criticisms using case study research method? And how do you address these in your workplace? Sure. There are certain situations where clients will want to remain anonymous. Um, say if there are some financial situations uh, that are being talked about, or if there are some sensitive um, uh, uh pieces of information, this or that. So uh, even though it's not as effective as directly citing clients and quoting them in the case study, we can still capture that story, but uh, leave the customer anonymous in order to respect their wishes uh, yeah. while still telling the story for our customer. Correct. Are there any other sound bites you'd like to leave our audience with? And you'd really like to know uh, about your book and what could the audience really expect from it? Sure. The book um, is actually everything I know and everything I could find about case studies. It's all in one place. It's something I couldn't find when I was developing the business. 
Um, so it's everything from what are case studies, why are they important, how do you create them, and how do you use them. Um, and the one thing I guess I would say that uh, in terms of just case studies in general is uh, if you've had uh, even just one customer that has been more successful because they worked with you, you need to be telling those stories and the case study is a great way to do it. Yes, that is true. Thank you so much, Jeff, for sharing a fresh perspective with us. It was amazing talking to you. Thank you so much for your valuable insights. You're welcome. Thank you, Kimberly, for the opportunity. Thank you so much. For more content, subscribe to Engati and tap the bell icon so you get access to exclusive content coming from thought leaders from around the globe. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you with a new expert soon.